Solving multi-step problems involving multiplication, addition, and subtraction of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers. Multi-step word problems are math problems that have more than one operation. Solving mathematical word problems like this requires both mental representation skills and reading comprehension skills to do it successfully. Problem solving in learning mathematics comes from the belief that mathematics is primarily about reasoning, not memorization. It allows students to develop understanding and explain the processes used to arrive at solutions rather than remembering and applying a set of procedures. It is through problem solving that students develop a deeper understanding of mathematical concepts, become more engaged, and appreciate the relevance and usefulness of mathematics. Problem number one. LB used some cloth to make four chair covers and a tablecloth. She used one and 95 hundredths meters of cloth for each chair cover and one and 24 hundredths meters of cloth for the tablecloth. How many meters of cloth did she use altogether? When solving multi-step word problem, the first thing to do is to understand the problem. And by doing this, you should be able to answer the question, what does the problem ask for? To answer this question, you need to look for the question that is directly stated in the problem. And that is, how many meters of cloth did she use altogether? So with this, the problem is asking for the total number of meters of cloth that LB use all together. The second question under the understanding the problem is what are the given facts? And to answer this question, you need to look for the given number of items mentioned in the problem. These are four chair covers, one and 95 hundredths meters of cloth for each chair cover, and 1 and 24 hundredths meters of cloth for the tablecloth. After understanding the problem, you will now plan on what to do. Under this, you need to answer the question, what operations will you use to solve the problem? The operations are not directly stated in the problem. But by analyzing and basing it from the given facts, you will multiply four chair covers by 1 and 95 hundredths meters and add the product to 1 and 24 hundredths meters to get the total number of meters of cloth. Therefore, the operations are multiplication and addition. The next question under the plan is, what is the hidden question? Hidden question is an implied question that need to be answered before getting the final answer. Going back to the problem, if you are to get the total number of meters of cloth used altogether, you need to get first the total number of meters of cloth used for chair covers. And so, the hidden question for this would be how many meters of cloth did LB use for the chair covers? The last question under the plan is how will you write the equation or number sentence? This is now the representation on how you will solve the given problem. Using the given numbers and operations, the number sentence or equation for the given problem is 1 and 95 hundredths times 4 plus 1 and 24 hundredths equals n.
After doing the planning, you will now carry out the plan. And by doing this, you will solve and give the correct answer to the given problem. Following the plan, step 1 is to multiply 1 and 95 hundredths by 4. And the answer is 7 and 80 hundredths. Step 2 and the final step would be to add 7 and 80 hundredths with 1 and 24 hundredths. And the final answer is 9 and 4 hundredths meters of cloth used altogether. After carrying out the plan, the last step is to check and look back. And to do this, you have to reflect about your answer and evaluate if it is sensible. Going back with the answer 9 and 4 hundredths meters, the answer is sensible in a sense that it was based from the exact outcome of the numbers being calculated and not merely then from approximation. Problem number two. Dwight went to cafeteria and ordered five sandwiches for 35 pesos each and three spaghetti for 45 pesos each. How much change will he get if he gave the seller 500 peso bill? Let's understand the problem. The first question would be, what does the problem ask for? Since the question in the problem is, how much change will he get if he gave the seller 500 peso bill? Therefore, the problem asks for the amount of change that Dwight will get if he gave the seller 500 peso bill. For the second question, what are the given facts? These are five sandwiches for 35 pesos each, three spaghetti for 45 pesos each, and 500 peso bill. After understanding the problem, next is to plan. The first question is, what operations will you use to solve the problem? Using the given facts, you will multiply 5 sandwiches by 35 pesos and multiply also 3 spaghetti by 45 pesos, add the products, and after which you will subtract it from 500 pesos. Therefore, the operations are multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Second question is, what are the hidden questions? Basing it from the given operations, the hidden questions are, how much are the five sandwiches? How much are the three spaghetti? And what is the total amount of foods ordered? The third question here is, how will you write the equation or number sentence? Based from the given facts and operations, the equation or number sentence is 500 pesos minus 5 times 35 pesos plus 3 times 45 pesos equals N. After planning, next is to carry out the plan. And to do this, you will solve and give now the correct answer. Using the given equation or number sentence, first step is to multiply 5 by 35 pesos. And the answer is 175 pesos. This is the total amount of sandwiches. Step 2 is to multiply 3 by 45 pesos. And the answer is 135 pesos. This is the total amount of spaghetti. Step 3 is add 175 pesos with 135 pesos. And the answer is 310 pesos. This is the total amount of food. Finally, step 4 is to subtract 500 minus 310 pesos and the final answer is 
190 pesos. And this is Dwight's change. After carrying out the plan, the last step would be to check and look back. Here you must reflect and evaluate your answer whether it is sensible or not. The answer 190 pesos is sensible because it was made out of exact calculations of numbers and not based merely from approximation. These are the steps that will serve as your guide in solving multi-step word problems. Number one, understand the problem. Under this, the questions are, what does the problem ask for? What are the given facts? Number two, plan. Questions under this are, what operations will you use to solve the problem? What is the hidden question? And how will you write the equation or number sentence? Number three, carry out the plan. Under this, solve and give the complete answer. And the last step is check and look back. Question under this is, is the answer sensible 